Hey everyone and welcome back to Option Alpha in this video tutorial for inverse head and shoulders patterns. So these are really really big bottom reversal and so as always we'll get right into it here with the chart pattern. So uh, this is a pretty complex pattern and it's important that you get a lot of the key features down when you're looking for head and shoulders. It's, it's a really big buzzword in this uh, in the trading industry and with technical analysis everyone's looking for head and shoulders tops and head and shoulders bottoms because <clears throat> they're generally fairly easy to spot once they form, but in the middle of them forming, they can be pretty tricky and you can get kind of thrown uh, through loops. So let's go through the inverse head and shoulders or sometimes called the head and shoulders bottom. So the important thing to notice about this is that since it's a reversal pattern, you have to have an already established downtrend. Now these patterns are usually pretty large and massive in scale. So a downtrend of one month is not going to lead to a very significant head and shoulders pattern. I'm talking about a downtrend over of a couple months to even a couple years in a stock. And what you'll see after the downtrend is that it'll form the left shoulder, but you won't note at the time. Come back up, touch and retrace the neckline, but again, you won't note at this point. It'll come back down a, a second time and form the head. Now, at this point, you can see that the market has moved lower than the previous left shoulder. So all indications are that this is still a downward trending stock, uh, that the stock is going to continue along that downtrend, making those lower lows and higher high and higher lows. I'm sorry, lower highs. But then once it reaches this bottom apex, really, it starts coming back up and it comes back up to the exact point that it reached the neckline previously where it just fallen away from. So now we have an established neckline, an area of relative or intermediate resistance. And really what sets the basis for a huge breakout is this right shoulder. So after the stock has come off the lows, then it comes back down and establishes a right shoulder, which is virtually even with the left shoulder. So now we have a stock that wasn't a downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs. Now is starting to make low, or I'm sorry, higher lows and possibly higher highs. So now we have kind of bucked the trend. It looks like kind of almost a U-shaped pattern at the bottom. Once we get the right shoulder, then we can start to look for the breakout. And it's really important on all the charts that you look for or that you're using for your chart patterns and technical analysis that you actually wait for the breakout. Don't anticipate the breakout because then it can continue to fall apart and become a triangle or a wedge or something, but you have to wait for the actual breakout of the neckline. What's important to notice in these types of chart patterns is that you want to have fairly even right shoulders, like we said, and a strong breakout and volume confirmation. That's really the ideal scenario for these inverse head and shoulder patterns. So crunching the numbers as always, the average rise of the inverse head and shoulders pattern is about 38% after the breakout. So again, this is a massive bottom. It's usually going to take a little bit to form because you have to build up all of those reserve buyers. The breakout failure rate for this pattern is actually very low at 3%. has a very low breakout failure rate. But again, you have to wait for that breakout. Uh, a lot of people will try to trade it right before the breakout, anticipating a breakout and they get wildly uh, disappointed. I know this has happened a lot of times on the S&P 500 and the Dow and the NASDAQ uh, and the Russell is that they wait and they try to anticipate breakouts and then they get wildly disappointed. So wait for the actual breakout. The throwback pullback rate is almost 45% on these patterns. So what this is saying here, if we go back, is that the likelihood of the market after breaking out to come back down and retest that neckline as support is very high. It's about one in two almost. And this is actually a good thing for traders uh, like me. I would look at this and say, okay, this is great. I have to wait for the breakout anyway. And I know that one out of every two times, I'm going to get some sort of retracement and confirmation of that neckline. If we look at the statistics again, you can see the breakout failure rate is just 3%. So if we do get back down to that neckline, there's a very high likelihood, about 97% likelihood, that it's going to continue in the momentum or in the movement direction of the breakout or higher. So I would just wait for that breakout or that, or I'm sorry, that pullback to happen. And then you can re-enter at really, really good pricing, knowing that you have a really solid confirmed breakout uh, going for you. Some keys to remember with this pattern, already established prior downtrend for this to be a relevant reversal pattern. Like I had said before, this is not going to happen after a one month downtrend. It needs to be a long sustained downtrend. 
volume during the first half of the pattern is less important than the second. So if we see volume start to really increase in the second half of the pattern, so as the head and as the second shoulder are forming, that's more substantial and more meaningful. It means a, a bigger breakout is likely to happen. The neckline forms by connecting the two intermediate highs, one and two. Now this doesn't always have to be exactly horizontal. This can be kind of slightly tilted to the right or to the left or up or down. Uh, but the important thing is that they be fairly, fairly horizontal, fairly even in forming that neckline. You want to have a really defined area as a neckline or else anything can really become a neckline uh, if you look at it that way. So make sure that you have a defined neckline that you can judge for using your breakouts. Hey, thanks for watching this video from Option Alpha. As always, we invite you guys to come back and check us out at optionalpha.com. And if you like this video, please share the video with any of your friends, family, or colleagues on your favorite social network.